quite old enough to understand what we're talking about, which means you're not 50 yet. This is FMW Presents Lethal Injection. And I am here at Commentary, joined alongside by Loco, Danny Landa, Tori the Historian, and today our very special our very special table and presentation, Shack Attack, grab a light snack, not a Big Mac, gotta love it because it's in the back. How you doing, Shaq? I'm doing very well, gentlemen, and I am looking forward to how to this pay-per-view. This card looks really stacked, and ready to go get it and he mean he means he's ready to go get, get get on this card not get it from behind by orlando jordan <laughs> right oh yeah i'm ready for this thing man let's get it let's get it let's get it all right let me know when everybody's let me know when everybody's on this and i'll i'll hit start show uh okay this Shaq, you're on, aren't you? Because I see two. Oh, you see two? Yeah, are you on the stream thing yet on YouTube? Um, hang on, let me... Thing. Hold on, I can get on YouTube real quick. What am I looking for on YouTube? I literally sent you the video in the chat that you, me, and Danny are in. Okay. If you just click that, you'll go directly to the show. Right. <clears throat> hey, Shaq. Yo. Do you recognize the guy on the cover photo? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. So, Sha okay. Shaq, do you recognize the guy on that cover? Shaq? I think his Facebook is acting crazy again. We'll see. Yep, let's call yep. him right. Let's call him right back. It's connecting. I don't want to start the show without him. I don't want to start the pay per view without him. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and do the show intro. So here we go. There we go, Danny. You love that prison shot. Uh-huh. All right, Danny. First up, from Corruption, Chuck Palumbo challenges for the New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Openweight Championship. Yeah. And who's he facing? Huge ass, the champion. Woo, boy. That's, uh... Y'all gonna play, y'all gonna play. Chuck Palumbo, a biker, a martial arts expert, 
and a former and a member of the FBI. What do you mean former? He's still with the FBI. And there we go. No entrances. We jump straight into the match, Danny. There we go. Right now he's doing a good job. huge ass turning it around now but Chuck Palumbo as long as he can stay using his his size in combination with the speed advantage and his brawling but I mean that's a good way to deal with it but huge ass is big and Palumbo out of the ring right here's the thing here's the thing about Palumbo he is not a small man oh he's not a small man but he's got a lot of speed for him He's got, a huge, he's got a big speed advantage over Hugh Jass, but Hugh Jass coming out with those with those well-placed strikes. It's not just brawling and power. This man is precise hitting. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. And Hugh Jass with a uh, single leg crab arm arm bar, and now going for a running power bomb. Man, don't let that man fool you. Just because he's big does not mean he can't move. Chuck Palumbo counters the, the finish there. But Palumbo fails to follow up, and now Hugh Jazz, still in control, hasn't beaten down Palumbo enough to win. Palumbo with the belly-to-belly -belly overhead suplex. Is that it? New champion, one. Shoulder up at two and a half. Right? It's amazing that Colombo can even hit that better than better over his head. Over a man the size of that. That's the that right now. And y'all forgot, Colombo couldn't put him away by wrestling. There's a steel chair. This is a corruption match. No rules. Exactly. That's the benefit of being in corruption. You don't give a damn. I mean, in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Corruption's gonna have a harder time than the other two brands because you don't have to just out wrestle your opponent. You gotta watch which objects they're gonna grab. And there's another running power bomb by Hugh Jass. The pure size of this man alone. Right? That's what I'm about. Just his size alone. Hugh Jazz trying to trying to overpower and conserve against Palumbo, but Palumbo's speed came into play. Now, why is this anyway? What's that? Why is it 
it is, as you just saw. All right. The, the rules of this match are being added. This is a hardcore match. Palumbo with a counter into a Samoan drop. Damn. Palumbo throwing, overpowering huge ass now. Palumbo with a butterfly suplex. Is that it? One, two, oh no. Two count, only a two on the butterfly. And there's an overhead belly to belly. Hugh Jazz tried to get it. And yet again, Palumbo out wrestling Hugh Jazz. One, two, three. That's it. New champion. Damn. And that, that was a new title to, for corruption, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Tony Marmaluke had it. Hugh Jazz took it off of Marmaluke. And Hugh Jazz has lost it to Palumbo. Back to the FBI. Man, it looked like he was going to throw Palumbo off the ring. I think what did it was that Samoan drop. Because then it, then it was the butterfly suplex, which we see there. And then the belly-to-belly -belly counter. I think it was that Samoan drop that helped him. I think that's what kind of set it up. And there's Palumbo with the belt. The FBI regains, recaptures that belt. One step closer, I'm taking full control. Yep, the old FBI. And now we're going to head over to Distortion for the European Championship. King Kong Bundy versus the Ring General Walter. Now, this is a match where you got two men, two big, big men. Tori, you gonna have to talk a little louder, dude. You kind of low on, on the ear end. You missed the first match. Chuck Palumbo dethroned Hugh Jass. Now we got a big King Kong Bundy s slowly walking to the ring. Like they used to say, a big old slobber knocker about to happen. Go ahead, cover it, Tori. So who coming in the ring first? Bundy? The walking yes, condominium. What do you think, Shaq? You got Bam Bam, you got Bam Bam King Kong Bundy <laughs> versus the Ring General Walter. Ooh, now this is gonna be very interesting. You got King Kong Bundy with his size, and then you got Walter, the, the Ring General, with those chops. And 
and a nice little power bomb and a splash to go to add on to it. Does anybody? And I think it's gonna be. Go ahead. You think it's gonna be who? The champion? The champion or the challenger? So who you got, Shaq? Ooh, this is gonna be one of those matches that could go either way, but having said that, I'm gonna go with a Walter by a hair. Really, are you sure you're not gonna go with Walter by a chop? Man, he's got more speed, but he's also got those deadly chops frying pans. And if anybody needs the link, just go back to the room. Tori, you sound like you're across the room. Well, King Kong Bundy is the bigger man in this match. And he is absolutely fast, but Walter's showing us he's faster. Dragon screw leg whip by King Kong Bundy, hearkening back to his time in Japan. Uh, Walter just overhead choke suplexed King Kong Bundy. Wow. Everybody, and King Kong Bundy just responds with a temper tantrum, going back off on Walter. You got to remember, Walter's also very technical. He's big, he's powerful, he's fast. He's technical and he has strikes. Bundy has the size. Uh, King Kong Bundy with that big power slam. Who all's what? Who all has the stream up right now? Shaq. Okay, I'm just asking because it's only showing one person, not showing two. Bundy is just tangenting. He's that power in that he's just overwhelming Walter, and Walter is just throwing everything in the book at Bundy. Yeah, that is. Right now, literally, it's size versus... Bundy just takes a stroll over Walter. King Kong Bundy doing the jumping elbow drop. Jumping elbow. No, I say it. What goes up? Let's calm down. Walter with a camel clutch hey, now. Oh, the Aust Austrian chic. Well, Cobra clutch, I should say. Now Walter starting to build up ahead of steam. And that uh, that's the speed. And that's a big man running at you. Walter with that big clothesline. And what a, what a prestigious title to fight for, too, with how big these two men are. That ring almost has half a ton in it between the two of them. And Walter picks up King Kong Bundy for a power bomb. And that's it. The ring general, Walter. Kong Bundy stepped into Walter's sacred ring. 
because to Walter the mat is sacred and King Kong Bundy's back got to feel that sacred mat when he got power bombed by the ring general Volta Since at least two of y'all were here for it, we're going back to corruption now, but it's a women's title match. Oh, yeah. Oh, shook it, took it, quack, quack. Walter wins fatality. Really, Jack? <laughs> All right, first. Who the hell is that Steve Roper looking ass? Who are you talking about? Is, you, you, you seen that man's profile picture? Who? Jack's profile picture with no beard on. Look like fever. <laughs> actually, first off, that was the day of my college graduation picture, and I was like, you know what? I need something professional. You know what I'm saying? We're jumping straight into this match coming from Japan. Akana Yamamoto, the champion has to beat the legend Mina Mi Miyami yes sir and she is she's a legend she's the greatest fe female wrestler of all time greater than Akane Yamamoto's mentor Kira Hokuto Kana Yamamoto with that Uranagi. You got to remember, uh, Akana Yamamoto was trained by Akira Hokuto. And Danny, you said something about we want big chops, right? Oh. Well, I wouldn't mind having a big chop of those, those bosoms. Round one, fight. Round one, suck. <laughs> Ooh, Akana Yamamoto with a big... Oh, that was nice. That super kick. Reeling Manami into that back that back suplex. Pin. Toyota gets out. Now Manami Toyota with a tombstone. No, a la Kazuchika Okada. Well, talk about making it rain on them. Especially on the pits. There is a lot of kicks going in the, and a lot of suplexing going on. And if you're looking for high octane, fast paced action, FMW's women's division will deliver every time. Women in Japan have been perfecting their craft since the 70s. WWE only introduced it in the U.S. in the 2000s. Yeah, but that was also a major part of being in Japan. A lot of it was Japanese women, like the Jumping Bomb Angel, the Crush Gal, and Akana Yamamoto with that beautiful spin kick. Now Ak Akana Yamamoto is going to look for the original buzz kill. And there's the snapmare into the kick. Is that it? Did the buzz kill put away the legend Minami Toyota? No, it did not. And Akane cannot believe it. Akane Yamamoto has been dominant in this women's division. But now she's going up against somebody that knows her style and has per has pioneered and perfected it. Yeah. Oh, you talk about pioneering, perfecting something. Man, I'm just so really perfected, all right. Perfected yeah. physically and mentally. And there, there's an electric chair suplex by Minami Toyota. 
Kana Yamamoto kicking out. Nice knee drop by Manami there. This is a good wrestling match. This is what it is. It's a wrestling match. Walter versus King Kong Bundy. You knew what the ceiling of that was. You got two big men in the ring. But this match switches the pace entirely with that nice kick taking down Yamamoto. I have not seen Akane on the mat being out grappled and out struck like Manami, like Manami's doing. And here's a bow and arrow stretch down. Manami's definitely getting uh, Akane loose for us. Hey. Thanks for the stretch. Oh, hey. Ooh, beautiful handspring knees and strikes to the back. B Manami Toyota breaking down Akane Yamamoto. Hey, so cold. Yeah. That hey, uh, wasn't that how you were last Thursday night, Jack, when you were going to spank uh oh! Uh oh! Akane with Akane going for the ride down Lover's Lane. And Manami Toyota is the new champion. I thought Akane had it after that kick. We saw the buzz kill. That has put every woman in the division down. And M Minami Toyota kicked a, out. A vote for the top five contenders. So who's going to be next? Akane. Amen to that. Because we have a, good, uh, a great locker room full of women. Who's willing to put uh, hands and chest on that woman's title. What? You talking about Coco? You're going to do that. <laughs> for $5, for $5 Coco, up. there's the Phoenix Queen's title. That's what it was about. You can't really get a good look at it from there, but look at that beautiful title, Shaq. Oh, yeah. I saw it, and it looks amazing. Oh yeah. This is what everybody. There you go. That's a better look at it. Besides that black shit that was on it for a minute, I don't, that damn glitch. I hate this game when it does that like visual glitch. There it is. That's the scene you're looking for. Women's champion. Yep. And who knows? It might be Coco. Hmm. I have million OnlyFans pages. Yes. Hey, Cassie? <laughs> she better not bring that damn R2-D2 shit around there. Around her. Man, oh, this... they have the R2-D2 stream off. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. Next up is the IWGP United States Championship. In a hardcore match, ba MMA legend Boss Rutten taking on John Moxley. Oh yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, Shaq, do you have any insight of who you think's gonna win this? Ooh, this is gonna be a hard hit match tonight. And how fitting that this kind of pay-per-view makes them feel right at home. Because they're going to put... They, it's, there will be some blood if needed. But I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with John Moxley with a paradigm ship. You mean a Death Rider? Oh, yeah. yeah. Death Rider. If he's, wearing the uh. if he's wearing pants, it's paradigm shift. If he's wearing trunks... It's a Death Rider. 
But this is right. the U.S. title, so it's definitely the Death Rider, John Moxley. So uh, we need to actually break uh, Jack's cherry and let him uh, do corruption tomorrow with us. That would be up to him, depending on what time of the day tomorrow. But he is doing it Friday, so don't, you know I don't want to put him on too much. All right, here we go. It these, is what it is. These matches are flying. And I, I'm gonna cover this one because I'm gonna cover this one, the first one. Go ahead. First Go ahead. up, representing Ammunition, trying to take the belt to Corruption, or from Corruption. My man, the MMA legend, member of Pancrase Mission, Boss Rutten. Now this man can throw hands. This man can throw kicks. Why don't you ask Minoru Suzuki what a kick looks like from this man? Well, he probably doesn't recall unless he rewatched the footage because one kick in Minoru Suzuki was out cold. Yeah. Didn't that man see 24? M Boss Rutten is the only man on the planet that has Minoru Suzuki's number in MMA. So I want you to equivalent that, Shaq. This man can take down Minoru Suzuki consistently. And he's been in there with legends like Dan Severn, Ken Shamrock, Fujiwara. What do you got to say about that, Shaq? Go ahead, Danny, cover this one. And by the way, this isn't the Death Rider. It is, it is, well, he is the Death Rider, but, yep, it's the Paradigm Shift. He's wearing the pants. Yeah. Death Rider, Paradigm Shift, he loves a good death match. This is a hardcore match, too. It's in John Moxley's favor. Is it? Is it, though? can do whatever the heck they want and use whatever they want. So yeah, he might bring out that little barbed wire girlfriend of his. Is it Barbie or Lucille? It's Kenny. Depends on how you swing it. Or Kendra. Same answer. Depends on how you swing it. Here we go, getting to the action now. Moxley the, has got the advantage in the match type, but you're still going against Boss Wooten, but Moxley flying, throwing the first blow, and this match is underway. Moxley's gonna have to stay away from Boss Wooten, keeping him grounded. That's a good way to combat Wooten. And I don't think Moxley's looking to analyze. I think he's just looking for brutality. But the moment Boss Wooten gets to work on those strikes, that's when it starts to get ugly. And Moxley foot, catching that foot, avoiding the big one, and going back to those clotheslines. Now, what's the first thing with feet or the hands? I don't think they'll keep them close With down. Boss Wooten with that Krav Maga, the feet. And now he's showing us, he, he's just knocking Moxley down like Moxley's a piece of jello. Moxley going to the grapple game now. Utilizing suplexes. What do you say, Shaq? Yeah, right. Oh, we're getting right into, into the nitty-gritty out of the gate. And Moss, and one thing Moxley needs to make sure he does is to avoid Moss Rubin's feet at, at, at any cost. Because once he gets those feet on you, it's basically a 
But Box Root right now utilizing a, a armbar triangle chokehold. He's also very good on the mat with submissions, and he's a grappler. And he knows that the ring, the, that the edge of the outside of the ring mat is the hardest part of the ring, and he used that. And here we go back to the striking, but again, Moxley catching that leg and going back to the clotheslines and forearms. Moxley can't exactly deal with Rooten, but he's watching the feet. And now Moxley grabs a table. And Rooten takes it away. Here we go. Moxley getting the one up using the table. And Rooten with a big kick catching Moxley in the head. And now Rooten just lifted him off the mat with a gut wrench suplex. Swinging the legs, hey. going for two. Rooten holding on tight, and here we go. Three. That ice cream and Rooten with a big shot to the gut of John Moxley. Uh-oh, look at Boss Rudin picking Moxley up. Bam! There's a kick. It's over. Moxley is going is knocked out right now. Wait a minute. Moxley got a shoulder up in two. I didn't hey, think yeah, that was possible. Like that. Once Boss Rudin kicks you, it's usually over. But Rudin now, didn't... What, what else does Boss Rudin have up in, in his playbook to run away Moxley? Keep on going. He keeps going to Moxley. He's taking it to the Moxman. And here we go. Just steady staying on Moxley. Not giving Moxley a chance to breathe. That's MMA strategy, not wrestling strategy. And Boss Rudin goes for the pin... But the referee does not count it. Oh, that's weird. Ooh, Bruton went for another big kick, but Moxley counters. Tried to use strike from Bruton, but Bruton, Bruton going to the gut. This is a, that's another thing. Watch the hands of Boss Bruton. They goes for the opening in the gut. Moxley saying, get the hell out of here. Right? If I'm Moxley right now, yeah. I'd be going for a weapon. Not trying to drop kick Boss Rudin. Moxley using that LED ring post to bounce Boss Rutten's head off of it. And Moxley with a paradigm shift on the outside. He needed that. Moxley needed that. But Rutten gets the shoulder up at 2 and 1-4. No. Wow. It's taking a go down this quickly. Rutan's an MMA fighter. It's going to take more than a paradigm shift to put a man like that down. He takes away that man and do it on that concrete. And Moxley building up the moment. Head of steam here. Now Moxley leaving the ring. Moxley looking for another a toy. There's a ladder now. Yes, Ned, we know what you want. You don't want 
don't care. Moxley now using that ladder. If you can't outstrike Root, and you have to try to out wrestle Root. And there's a big forearm into a bunch of strikes. Moxley feeling the feeling it now. Tried to go for a chop, but there's Root with a strike, and there's a gut punch by Boss Root. Boss Root now with a crossbody armbar. Exactly what Moxley needed to avoid. Moxley showing the heart, fighting rooting out of the arm bar. And Moxley with another version of the paradigm shift. Is that it? Kick out at two by Boss Rooting. Wow. John Moxley going for those mounted punches. And then a stomp to the gut. Boss Rooten here. And Moxley pops up right in Boss Rooten's face. And using the ropes, using the rope drag on the face of Boss Rooten. Boss Rooten tried to kick. John Moxley, but he countered with a drop kick. Beautiful. And Moxley got the pin. John Moxley retained his belt. It took two paradigm shifts. What a brutal match. It wasn't just brutal, it was hard. Sometimes you gotta go that extra mile to remain champion. Sometimes they just go down the hard. And, jo and John Moxley's now looking to Yuji Nagata. <laughs> Ooh, now this is gonna be a, another hard hitting match against the living legend. That John Moxley has to go through. And up next, we have the showstopper, the general manager of Distortion, Shawn Michaels, taking on the general manager of Corruption, Shock Pastor. Right? Oh, snap. I decided on this pay per view I was going to put the two in ring capable general managers against each other. Well, here he is, guys. The old broke, the heart attack man, the heart attack grandpa, Undertaker's dad, Shawn Michaels. Think about this. We're actually, this is actually the fifth match on the card. We only have two more. Well, oh, shit. Think of that. Uh, Jack, uh, do this one just for the hell of it. And how about your general manager, the Shock Pastor, Danny? Ah, oh, man. This guy is ruthless. He's, a, he's also been known to trip through walls. 
He's also been known to trip through walls. Yeah, that was only on the Dork and Saturday. But hey! Yeah, got, got his ass acting like he's a juggernaut, bitch. Well, he said he would be back. He didn't say when. But, uh, let's see this guy. But, hold on, I think I'm gonna go get one of the friends from the concession. Be right back. Jock Pastor walking down slow. Look at this big man. I just want to point out, too, this is the first pay-per-view Crazy D and Cerebellum on your bread aren't on, Danny. So distortion and corruption are going to collide here. The fans are the fans are obviously behind Shawn Michaels. Well, Shawn Michaels better keep the big man off his feet because that power is going to come into play. Company, I have to honestly say that match right there was bullshit. Shawn Michaels, the showstopper, Mr. WrestleMania, Mr. Wrestling, looked like a joke. Maybe Shawn Michaels is, is wildered well, up and has been. Have... Maybe Shawn well, Michaels. That's what happens when you have like two. Two wacky ass up, two OGs hey, trying to not do be surprised that uh, each other in the Mr. Shockmaster laid it down on the Mr. Bramps, right? Shockmaster gave him a hug and won. Right. I guess next time they'll have a fight at the uh, at, at the uh, applesauce counter, fighting over well, a pudding cup. I mean, 
They do in love to cuddle, don't they, Jack? Yeah, they do, but they probably would cuddle at the, um, at the sh shuffleboard. Well, guys, here's the sub-main event, the Never Open Weight title. El Desperado, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, takes on the FMW Never Open Weight Champion. Now, is this uh, ammunition? Yep, this is an ammunition match. And here comes the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, El Desperado. I'm going to skip that. And here comes the champ, the Ace of Ammunition. Not the Golden Ace, just the regular Ace. Go Ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is going to be a, a hard burner for sure. Two the, Japanese legends. Technically, yeah. it's a luchador. El Desperado is technically a luchador. So we got a lucha, a lucha legend versus the, one of the absolute greatest Japanese legends. In the history of the In world. History. And this man is still the reigning never open weight champion. You know who else is a never open weight champion? Coco. On the corner of That is that is not never open weight. That is always open late. Oh, my bad, my bad. I, I meant to say always open, not And it's not weight, it's late. Always open late. <laughs> Come on, everybody, play the guitar with us. Because the ace is in the house. Golden ace? Nope, the golden ace will be in the house shortly. Right now, Hiroshi Tanahashi in our sub main event. So, uh, Jack, since you're going to this thing, uh, have you met Coco yet? Um, I don't know if I have. She sounds like a, uh, a fun girl to meet, and I might try to meet her up after the show. Well, here we go, guys. Tanahashi's going low on El Desperado. Desperado's got the speed advantage. Right, right. Tanahashi is a bit older. A lot of people say the ace doesn't have it anymore, but he's still working. Look at this. Going around on the mat with El Desperado. Tanahashi trying to outstrike Desperado. Desperado goes for the kicks though. And Tanahashi back to the back to the grappler. Grapple, 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 grapple these nuts. Another drop kick. Nope, Kanahashi's going to mat wrestle some more for us. Desperado with that knee strike. Desperado with that shot to the back of the head, but Kanahashi with a twist and shout. Atomic drop. Tanahashi going up. And he's looking for high fly flow. And Tanahashi up for the second time. El Desperado's about to feel the flow. And Tanahashi going for the pin there. That's it. 
Once Tanahashi hits the high fly flow, it's over. As Kevin Kelly says, high fly flow! That's all she, that's all she wrote. Desperado was trying to counter, but the, the legend Tanahashi was just too crafty and too talented for El Desperado to actually pick, break through and start getting his offense in. And that's why Tanahashi is still the never open weight champion. As he now looks forward to G Switchblade Jay White. King, King Switch awaits the ace. I'm sure Jay White was watching. But now, guys, as the fans celebrate with Tanahashi, we have to talk about the main event. Okay. We are arriving at the main event. This pay-per-view went less than an hour. It's a lot less than I thought it would go. Well, sometimes it's quick and easy. That's what folks like. And some of them will be hot and ready. They're always hot and ready. Like a fucking Little Caesar's Pizza. Now, and it's you, only five bucks. we're going to talk about this match. We're not going to talk about the competitors until they come out. Shaq, this is called Pandora's Box. Every person in this match except... Actually, every person in this match is a champion. Everyone. Everyone. The winner, whoever pins the other person takes their title. If Emi was... I mean, the historian could walk away with another title. Yeah, exactly. Or historian or Jack Chris could end up walking away with a new tag partner. Right. So, Shaq, do you get the concept of the match? Wait, hang on. Let, run it down again. So, basically... Whoever, it's basically like first one. It's elimination style, right? No, it's an all champions on duty match. Whatever champion pins another champion, they take that champion's title. That's right. Oh, okay. Or our That's world right. heavyweight champion could walk away with the tag team titles and a new partner. Ooh. <laughs> And four of the men in this match are in the same faction. Ooh, that's even crazy. That's even crazy. So essentially, it could turn into a handicap match, depending or on... Or it could turn into a make or break. Bingo. It's a gamble. It's a huge, huge gamble the, either way you look at it. This match could go any way, Shaq. Anyway, you're about to be introduced to every champion in the company. Hey, even the ones that defended their titles already? No. Those are the those aren't the main champions. You're about to be introduced to all the main titles. Oh, nice. That's our cross promotional talent over there, except for except for Tanahashi and Walter. They hold the lower tier titles. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Pandora's box on the way. And it's Pandora's box because I imagine it's going to be chaos. Yeah, like that one night with Coco and the, the twins. Damn, she got friends that are twins? Yeah, oh, no, no, no. vegan twins, twins, vegan twins, teacher and vegetarian twins. teacher. Oh, God. That's, damn, they got no meat, huh? Oh, there's meat in there. They That's have not. the meat, but just not the kind you're thinking of. Oh, boy. And they're Daddy thinking our had meat. Had some okay, that meat was pissed about not having the meat. All right, guys, being professional for a moment, we're going to have to cover our own brand's champions as they come out. Tori, you there? 
Oh, cool. I'll take a break. Good. Because we're going to cover our own champions here. And Shaq, you're going to be introduced to the champions, which is very important for you to know. Oh, yeah. So here we go. First off, the man who won the number one contender spot in this match, but who has the title. There's a number one contender spot slot in this match. Amen. No. Storian's a champion. First up, the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, the Commonwealth Kingpin, representing the Swords of Essex and the United Empire, Will Ospreay. And this man, I guarantee you, is going to be a threat. Possibly this generation's own AJ Styles. Amen to that. I believe he is on his way there. Oi! With how he's evolved over the last three, several years. Hell yeah. There he is, the Commonwealth Kingpin, Will Ospreay. Coming again from my brand, the C4 champion, equivalent to Ring of Honor's Pure Championship, Emi. And I know you guys want to talk shit, that's all good and dandy, but the man is a champion. He beat Raven in Pure Rules. Wow, that is very impressive. Yes, in pure ass sucking. Uh, Danny's just jealous. <laughs> Danny's I just jealous. Danny was just jealous because Emi was having to be the backstage cowboy for Herbert the Pervert, the original GM for his brand. I was just about to ask, did Emi have a purely good time with Herbert the Pervert after he beat Raven for that title? Nope, because Herbert, he got away from Herbert to come to my brand and win belts, and he's already won three belts. The Fuck the World Championship twice, and the C4 title. And tonight, he could be walking out with a different belt. Not if I had my way with it, I'd kick him in the teeth. Who's it going to be next? Hey Danny, that would be that would be your cue. Alright, alright, who we got coming out? The ultra violent champion. Which is yet to Little Guido, the leader of the FBI. That is the Ultra Violent Championship, and yes, it does look like the hardcore title, Shaq. It is a fitting championship for the Ultra Violent Championship. Exactly. All they need now is that tag team gold, and they'll be set. Well, Little Guido may be taking it tonight. Better watch your back, Tori. Yeah, I know. 
No, you mean historians should watch his back. Yeah, that too. And up I mean, next, have, speaking of Tory, speaking of Tory, here comes Distortion's next pick, the Abandoned Champion. And this man also has a briefcase that guarantees a shot anytime he wants at the TV title. So he can cash that in anytime during or after this match. And he's a member of the Golden Towers, one of the four in this match. And for some reason, he's one of the most popular acts on Distortion. Well, there you go, Shaq. There's a clown for you. We got a few of those in this company. Yeah. You there, Shaq? I'm... Yes, I'm here. Okay. I was making sure Facebook didn't mess up. Because up next, after the, uh, the brand champions, we get to the main titles. Because up next, we'll be representing Distortion, I'm pretty sure. So, Tori, take the floor back away. The other TV title briefcase holder and one half of the tag champions. medical training, this man always ensures the safety of his opponent by checking their oxygen levels. Some people might want to say that he's actually choking them, but I think he's just feeling, massaging their throats and, feel, and making sure that their airways aren't clogged up by bad air. And yes, Shaq, that, that is one half of the TV champions right there. But, or he's one half of the tag champions with a TV title shot. But being interrupted by his own tag partner while he was still in the corner. A man, a man that doesn't need any introduction because he's the original first ever FMW world champion. One half of the tag champions and now sits as the Hayabusa Cup holder and the man who's going to be getting a world title shot at Circus Maximus. He cut his own tag team partner off the third member of the Golden Powers, who apparently decided to have the arena lights turned off for him. This man took the Hayabusa Cup from the Great Muda. Here he is, Jack Chris. The man that explains to the birds, the bees, to all the little kids. Mitch said it's Kanye West. <laughs> he asked if that's Shaq's older brother on the historian. Jack Crisp is a man that does not care. Rules? He don't care about that. Friends? Very few of those. 
He's got people he'll work with, not friends. And Jack Crisp, he'll do whatever it takes. He'll hurt you. And, he, I, and here's the fun part. He's absolutely one of the smaller competitors, but he's the... He's one of those little mean motherfuckers that will bite your, that will rip your throat out and tear your intestines out of your butthole. And you know why he'll do that, Shaq? Why? Because he can get his hand up there just because he wants to. Perfect. The man is vicious, he's visceral, and he does not care. Oh, he, he does said, not. He said he kind of looks like Callahan. But up next is the TV champion. Yes, there's only two more of these. The television champion, a man who's got a lot of targets on his back right now. And as Shaq, you'll be taking over on the uh, Distortion brand. You should get to know him very well, the Savage King. Tori, take it away. He's got to be a little frustrated right now after losing another member of the army, Azriel. It's just him and Jay now. But the king is still out here to wear the crown for his army, the fans. And he is the head that wears the crown. And no matter got, how many people you lose. And he's got, he's lost another soldier in the army, but he says his army is still vast. They are the good people. But I'm going to tell you right now, I, my prediction is coming up. My prediction is the ace. The unbeatable, unstoppable force that the king is even looking forward to fighting. The golden ace. The world's heavyweight champion, the man that ended the 14 and a half month reign of terror of AC Smooth. The man that brought wrestling and prestige back to the title. You put somebody in front of this man, they can beat people in less than five minutes. He'll beat them in less than two. You put a big man in front of him, he'll make him, he'll beat him in less than three minutes. You put somebody who squash wins every match, he'll squash win them. He is the golden ace. And no one's been able to topple the mountain that is the golden ace. So if there's anybody that's winning this match, it's the man that nobody can beat. And I guarantee you this man's walking out of here with another belt. He'll get it right back. That's true. That's true. So, Shaq, why don't... I think this is the man you need to watch. The, the world's heavyweight champion. The golden ace. There's everybody in the ring, and the, the king goes right for the ace. I told you, the way he was looking at it, their history together, they have no love loss. I knew that was going to come to blows. The king holds grudges. Hey, man, he does. Notice, you can get out of the ring. This match could spill out everywhere. There is no DQ. Pinfall or submission only. It is first fall to the finish. And little Guido beating the crap out of Historian. Will Ospreay going after Jack Crisp. Don't surprise me, little Guido wants to get that experience all to himself. Okay.
Okay, seriously, did you really just make a Big Mama's House reference? Yeah. <laughs> Cheesy ass motherfucker. Well, I mean, I'm not even going to try to call all of this action because you got eight people in the ring trying to do four different things. Right? But I will say, Savage King's throat just met the top rope. Compliments of the Golden Ace. Shaq's big mama lives at Hotel 6 and she'll leave the light on for you. Really? I can't do that. Jack Crisp and the Golden Ace double teaming the Savage King now. You know the Golden Power. You got four members in there. They got They got Well, right now, the two people that are on the same brand, the freaking historian, are fighting it out. This is fighting over this is this is the fight for the big this is a fight for a title and Emi with that corkscrew neck breaker. Uh oh little Guido Got a, got a got a running knee. And Golden Ace going for the pin. The oh come on, ref. That was a slow count. He had it. Will Ospreay looking for the Stormbreaker. Yeah, got that Stormbreaker. What the hell has Jack Crisp on call? Pick up those two pieces. Savage King back out of the ring now. And the freak is uh, biting the historian's fingers. No, I know he was kinky, but damn. up on the top rope in no man's land. What's going to happen? Oh! Little thing of launch him off the damn thing. Nuncio going after Jack Chris now. Little Guido. Circus Maximus. Exactly. And all the things are going to come out. Just think about this, though, Shaq. This is all the main oh, champions. What? I was on show for Max Danny. You know what Dede be saying? Freaks come out at night. Freaks come out at night. Oh, we lost the tweet. And just remember, every champion in this match, their title's in jeopardy. That means we can have Ammunition's Championship on Corruption. Or a Corruption Championship on Devastation. Oh, 
distortion. But right now, the Golden Ace with a sit-out Blue Thunder Bomb. Here we go. Nope. Will Ospreay ruining that maneuver. Jack Chris just just politely told EMI to get out of the ring. Uh-huh. I mean, just because of people in the back of his throat don't mean nothing. Hey, oh. And now the freak show, he's in the ring leader suplex. And that got broken up by Will Ospreay in the ace. The freak almost had the uh, television championship there. Right? Saito suplex to the his to Vincio by the historian. We gotta figure out what the hell is in my story. He just walked around with his hand in the box. Well, Jack Chris was telling him to get out of the ring. Ah. still has a television title shot. Do I hit triple crown? Could be a possibility. <laughs> Shaq, we have a new world heavyweight champion. Yeah, well, you know what? The man who was supposed to be here to cover this isn't. So, do you guys have anything you want to say before we close it? We went an hour and a half almost. Uh, she's only good for five minutes. Really? I heard she was giving a 90... I heard she was giving a 90% discount. It's only five cents tonight.
Until then, we have a new champ. Thank you all for tuning in. And even though we have a new champion, stay golden. Amen to that.